Sen and that is a that, time a, in that's any sophistry. In that's so, the, in your, your example on, on any, craft. Your example any, on craft is finish, even worse. I, you finished first. In the, any well, I, the, of the, the interview is only going to be six minutes. Country. You're going to see somebody who totally deserves it, just like Kamala does, just like AOC does, just like all ghetto Crockett and Cory Bush and Shifty Schiff and Ratty Raskin, the whole entire band of hypocrites. This is such a beautiful, delicious, delectable video that I'm going to present to you today because one of the biggest hypocrites, hypocrites on the planet, Elizabeth, fascist, totalitarianistic, uh, socialist, communist Warren, gets absolutely put in her place, obliterated, eviscerated, and it is gorgeous. But this is not just a sensational video. I'm not just sharing this video for, you know, oh, let's just see somebody get completely lambasted, although it's so much fun. I want you to pay attention. That was just a small clip. I'm going to play the entire clip. It's a couple of minutes long. I want you to pay attention because what occurs in this amazing decimation is something indicative, metaphorical, reflective of the entire Hippocrat campaign their propaganda, their DNC war machine, propagandist indoctrination machine. See if you can pick it up. Listen very, very carefully. It's a joyful, <laughs> there I said it, joyful. We're so joyful. It's a fun, uh, entertaining video to see Elizabeth Warren be put right into her absolute place. But there's more to this. So I want you to pay close attention and then come on back. I can... I can paint you a picture of how that would work and how it's worked in the past, where we've tried to artificially hold prices down. Competition doesn't come in. People don't, like if beef is too high, people don't move the chicken. The competitors don't come in to undercut where the beef prices are. Nothing works when you try to artificially control prices. It's just a supply and demand issue. It's a flawed idea. So, so did you have a question here? Yes. Why would you propose a flawed idea when, when the real problem, so let me if you ask really want to help the middle class, if you really sincerely want to help people having trouble at the grocery store, it's not price gouging that's the issue. And, and if you look at it seriously so, and, and really want to help them, then let's do something about it together. So Fine. I, I understand if you, want to, if you want to do a lecture about this, but let's just start with where have you been? for the last 30 years uh, as three dozen states have price gouging laws and they have used them effectively. States like Texas wrong. and Florida, That's wrong. Um, they've used price gouging laws. Price gouging laws are not price control. Price gouging laws are to say, you know, sometimes markets go off the rails and when they do, we need some ways to get them back on the rails. We need some curbs The market on that decides behavior. that. You so, even, for example, we watched in the pandemic how prices went up for a whole lot of reasons. They went up partly because we had supply chain kinks, we had uh, problems because of the war in Ukraine that, that cut supplies of certain commodities. And one of the things that happened as a result of that is there were corporations that said, whoa, now that we have inflation, now that prices are up overall, this is a great opportunity for us to raise prices, not just in passing along costs, but to go way, way, way above that. And what, how do we know that it was way, way above just passing along costs? Look at what happened to their profit margins. If they'd just been passing along costs, profit margins would have stayed about the same. But for some industries, some companies, profit margin shot up. And do you know where they shot up most often? It was in companies or in industries where there was a lot of concentration, a lot of market power, places where the market is not functioning competitively. So you end up with some, and you remember we all talked about egg prices. You end up with something like this giant egg producer, uh, CalMain. And CalMain raises the price of eggs. Their profit margins increase by 718%. That's not just passing along costs. Senator, and that is a that, time in any... That's sophistry. Your example on, on any, craft, your example on craft finish, is even worse. I, you finished first. 
in That's, any well, I, the, of the, the envy is only going to be six the country minutes. that already have price gouging Can laws. Can I tell you in why place? that those are fallacious and misleading at best? And the craft, your so, craft look, analogy is even. Why can't it, I tell you? Please let me tell you. Craft, you say, was 440 percent profit increase. The example you used. The prior quarter from the year before, they had an, an, a charge of $1.3 billion, an accounting change, which wiped look, out profits. Then they earned what the, they normally... Look at the let data. Let me finish you, now. They, they, fought, they earned... You didn't let me finish. Look at the data. Come on. We have economic study now after Lies. economic Just study. The way it they always show goes. They're, they're, when they're, there is more Senator, concentration... They, 40 million there, eggs were destroyed because of avian flu. When there is more concentration in an industry... We have seen much greater increases in Do you attribute the, the inflation? Margins. That's what you and think we need to do to solve it? They're not random. They are not random one-offs. Just talking. Just, it is it's like a, it's like a platform. The problem There's no talking to these people. When you've got companies Clueless. that are gouging consumers on prices, consumers need to Multiple know they've got millions. somebody Senator, on their side. Senator, Senator and listen, we're trying in, to help. We're, we're where trying are to you actually in the do 36 where are you in the 36, 37 states that currently just, have price gouging? Just quickly on that point, Senator Warren, can you, can you, this is Kelly here, can I just we're never clarify gonna, how, the, never just how this would to, work? This is the, the state, way you never lose an argument, because state, no one can ever say anything back to you, the Senator. The state it, price gouging laws take a... It's the same thing at the DNC. It's the same thing anytime you question uh, uh, Corinna Jean-Pierre, the White House press secretary. They just talk with these parroted, pre-rehearsed, premeditated word salad meaningless diatribes that somehow hypnotize it's like high school prep rally tactics all over again she knows she's wrong she completely took the data out of the context of the pandemic out of the context of the fact that the egg industry was exactly 700 400 percent lower their profit margin they literally just returned back she's just inflating numbers out of the blue joe's Joe Kernan from Squat Box, he was totally 100% right. And did you catch what he said? Did you catch what he said there? Actually, it came right at the end. This is why nobody could win an argument with you because you don't let anybody fact check you, interrupt you, and tell you to your face that you are 1 billion percent wrong. This, this is why I don't call them the Democrats. I, I call them the hypocrites. They have completely, these are not the Democrats of 10, 15 years ago. Democrats of 10, 15 years ago, never mind the Democrats of John F. Kennedy's era. I know for a fact RFK Jr.'s dad and uncle would not have voted for these heathens in 2024. I guarantee it. I know it with every fiber of my being. You can't call them the Democrats. They're completely removed, unidentifiable. They've gone so radical, extreme, socialist, propagandist, indoctrination, methodologies and ideologies. They're unrecognizable. This is indicative of the entire party. You take any of them, Ghetto Crockett, you take Ratty Raskin, Biden, Obama, Clinton, you take them all, they all do the exact same thing. It's like they were all trained and grown from the same exact uh, soil and the same exact ingredients, same exact DNA. They literally don't have anything substantive, evidentiary to offer anybody. So I throw this off to you. I mean, I want to I want to hear your thoughts on this. This is a video that I hope uh, speaks to larger, broader issues and context regarding this election, regarding this faction of lying, reprehensible, deceitful, duplicitous. I mean, it is 1984. Don't believe your eyes and ears. Don't believe your wallet. Don't believe your bills. Don't believe your struggles. Just believe me and I'll take care of everything. I've been here for four years. Everything's garbage, but guess what? You elect me and I'll fix it. That's the idea. That's the mentality. And it is capital A absurd. It makes no sense. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, uh, as always, please make sure that you tap that thumbs up because it helps us. Not for vanity. I could care less. Tap the thumbs up because it signals to the algorithm to push this video to as many people as possible. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to sign up for our free newsletter. It's in the pinned comment, show notes, and description. Become a Nez Nation Insider so again, never miss out on anything. It's your sure-proof way of always being in the know everything that the fake 
propagandist hippocrat media will never ever share with you check out these videos coming up on the screen right here subscribe and follow over there and as always may god bless you and may god save and bless our republic i'll see you soon